Hey guys, in this video I want it to be short, sweet, to the point. Um, in this video I'm going to tell you when I do not trade and when I never plan on trading. In fact, I would consider it to be a resettlement period or when Rees does not trade. Um, I've been burned by this stuff way too many times, guys, and I don't find it to be worth it. So I'm going to tell you when I do not trade. Okay. I do not trade. We're in New York local time, so on the right side, New York. I will not take a trade from about 08.15. That would be the latest point at which I would, ex I would, be, I would be flat to 09, minimum 09.45. I will, preferably later than that. This time window is a no trade zone for me. Okay, every single day. Without, without question, 08.15 to 09.45. Why? Um, I will tell you why. It's not because I believe I'm incapable or it's not possible or anything like that. If you're looking at New York local time, let's go to our economic calendar. You will notice that almost every, but not every, economic release will come out at 7.30, and this is in central time on the right, so it's 08.30 New York local time. That is when the economic releases come out. And what is 0930 New York local time? That is the New York Stock Exchange open. So this is what Michael refers to as the news embargo lift. And NYSC open. I will not trade those time periods. I will always be flat uh, without question. Um, the earliest that I will want to re-enter for the regular trading hour session is going to be Ideally, even 30 minutes after the market opens, but I'm saying strictly 15 minutes. So what happens from 0950 to 0, uh, to 0950 to 1010? That's, that's Micro's first, uh, Michael's first macro, okay? A macro that's going to seek liquidity. So it's the first time where I uh, feel comfortable trading the market where the initial volatility from an economic release and from the New York Stock Exchange Open has subsided and I believe that manual intervention for the most part should be over on a daily basis and when automation should kick back into the market not that I really think it ever exits but so economic releases can ruin you very quickly and the New York Stock Exchange Open can ruin you very quickly both of those things can ruin you in a matter of minutes and it's um, is it a time period in which you can make a lot of money? Yeah, I mean, that goes without saying, guys, but that's that's really gambling. And my objective with day trading is to be a professional and to make returns over time, not to gamble. And the market moves so quickly from this time period to this time period, so that's an economic release to the New York Stock Exchange Open. It is moving so quickly that it's beyond really my comfort. And it does that basically on a daily basis. So I'll show you on Monday, Monday's trading as well. So let's go to 0815 to 0945. Is that a time period where you could have made a lot of money? Yes. But at the same token, the market started acting a lot more reasonably or less volatile or more predictable as soon as you get out of that time period, right? We start to see our normal swings. Um, that volatility from economic releases is out. And so, guys, that's my no trade zone. That's my, I don't want to blow my account in five minutes. Um, I have a, a loss limit, right? So I have a $3,000 loss limit. And if you're playing New York Open, there's a lot of, there's a lot of guys that do play New York Open. But um, it's not for me. Um, I want to make returns over time, and I can make just as much money never trading the New York Open as I can trading with the New York Open. Uh, it'll be a, a, a lot less of a stressful career. And... I would also say, guys, obviously FOMC or anything like that, you should you know, also be out of that as well, and those will come in at different times. So every single day, guys, from 08.45 New York local time to 09.45, so from the period when an economic release, you will usually come out to the period 15 minutes after the New York Stock Exchange open, I will not be in a trade. Um, 
ideally I wouldn't want to be in a trade up until 1000 or at least 950 okay which is going to be 850 my time but you know this is this is like very strict like I will take a loss if I'm in a position right before this I'm taking a loss if I'm in a position right before that 0845 hits I'm I'm just eating a loss whatever it is doesn't matter what it is I'm taking it uh, I am getting flat because I am not going to be ripped again by a CPI or a non-farm payrolls or whatever it is, guys. I'm not getting ripped by it again. And they come out at predictable times. You can use your economic calendar. They come out at predictable times. They do tell you. And so my recommendation to you, if you are trying to make returns over time without gambling, I would say this would be a pretty good time period for you to be flat as well. Now, guys, are there plenty of people who make their livings in five minutes on the New York Open? Yes. But that's not what I'm going to do. That's it. So you got to make up your own mind whether you want to play the New York Open or not. I've chosen and follow Michael's teaching that I'm not going to play the New York Open. And I believe that I can make just as much money over time. I believe that I can be just as successful as any guy playing the New York Stock Exchange Open um, without ever playing it. Without ever playing it. Um, letting the market come in, getting that initial volatility come in, and then waiting to see what the market wants to do from there. Uh, I think I think that's a very wise thing to do. I think I know that that's what I'm going to do, and it'd be my recommendation for you to do the same, uh, which I know is kind of the opposite of what everybody tells you, right? But, yeah, for me, there it is, guys, 0845 to 0945 every single day without question, without – I will – Again, I will eat a loss. If I'm, I'm trading right up to that time, I will just take a loss. doesn't matter how much it is. A $2,000 loss, $5,000, I don't care. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. Um, because you can lose a fortune. You can lose your life savings in five minutes on an economic release. Believe me. If the economic release goes against you, you're done. You're done. You're out, buddy. Five minutes over and done. Uh, it's not really tradable. Some of these events are so fast. Can you play the New York Open? Yeah. Generally speaking, yes. But something like a CPI or non-farm payrolls or an economic release that's really hitting you the wrong way, I mean, you're, guys, it's not even tradable. Your stops won't even be hit. Your stops will just be ignored, uh, just traded right through, and, and, and you'll get – your life is over in like five seconds. Is that really worth it to you, that risk-reward? That, yeah, you can make a lot of money very quickly. You could also lose everything you have in five minutes. Is that – is that worth it to you? Is that the sort of risk to reward that you want in your life? I found through trying to day trade professionally and trying to get there that it's not worth it for me. And I've got, you know, this is about a a 30 minute time frame, right? From 0845 to 0945 or an hour long time frame. I can trade 22 other hours of the day except that hour. And I'm specifically avoiding it because of how much volatility there is. And a lot of people tell you, oh, well, you need to trade. Yeah, I do believe, obviously, right? I'm trading intraday volatility, but it's too much. It's too fast, um, especially on like a non-farm payroll, CPI. It, it's going to go so fast, guys, and you're gonna, your stops will not be hit. You will be demolished very quickly. So, you know, make, make up your own mind. Do you, do you really need to make a living off the New York Stock Exchange Open? Do you need to make a living off an economic release? No, guys. You've got, you got 22 other hours of the day that you can trade without ever touching an economic release and without every without ever touching the New York Stock Exchange Open. So just my opinion, guys. Um, from 0845 to 0945, that is absolutely iron rule. I will not be trading during that time. I recommend that you do the same. I know that's the opposite of what most people would tell you, but I recommend the same to you. Uh, again, though, guys, you got to make up your own financial decisions. I'm not a financial advisor, not financial advice. Um, just been my experience and my opinion. Bye-bye.